hope you guys are doing well. So guys, today I have with me this bike, which is the all new TVS Apache RR310. This is the BTO edition, which means that this is the top end variant. This bike gets a dynamic kit, a race kit, and race replica graphics as well. Now I am planning to give you guys a detailed review of the bike very soon on the channel, and I am also planning to do a mileage test of this bike. So these are the two videos which you will get to see very soon on the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the top five reasons why you should particularly choose this bike in the Indian market. So let's quickly start this. Video. Let's quickly start off with the first point. So the first point is the features list. Now this bike is offered with uh, quite a few features. Starting off from the first one. Now here you have a five-inch TFT display here, as you can see. This is how it looks like, and uh, the bike also gets four riding modes. So here, as you can see, the first one is the urban mode. Then you have the rain mode, sport mode, and the track mode. So these are the four modes where you can basically ride the bike. And uh, this bike also gets uh, obviously this system gets a smartphone connectivity. So you can basically pair your smart smartphone via Bluetooth. It misses out on navigation, but you can basically store up to a total of three documents in this particular screen. So that is again, which is called as the DigiDoc, by the way. Now this car, this bike also gets uh, slipper clutch. It also gets uh, glide through technology. What glide through technology does is the fact that you just need to put the bike in first gear, and when you release the clutch slowly, it will start crawling. You don't really need to uh, give any throttle input. So that is how the GTT works and it also gets ride, uh, ride by wire which is throttle by wire as a TVS says so these are the features which the bike gets it also gets dual channel ABS so these are the features which you get from the TVS Apache RR310 so that's the first point talking about the second point now this bike is powered by a 312.2 cc single cylinder liquid cooled reverse inclined motor like I told you uh, this bike actually gets four riding modes so when you ride it in the sport as well as track mode this engine produces 34 PS of power and 27.3 Nm of torque when you ride it in the rain and urban mode this bike like this engine actually produces 25.8 PS of power and 25 Newton meters of torque. It is a really very powerful engine. So you basically need to be very careful when you are trying to over speed or when you are trying to rev the nuts out of it. So the engine is really very powerful, but in terms of the refinement, definitely it could have done a little bit more better. And the exhaust notes note also sounds really very throaty. So that's the second positive point of the bike that the engine is really very powerful. In fact, when you ride it in the track mode, you have to be careful over uh, uh, gravel surfaces over uh, surfaces like this rough surfaces because your rear tire might uh, end up uh, having a slip so that is something which you need to know talking about the uh, third point by the way that is the pricing of the bike now, the, now this bike might cost you somewhere around 3.2 lakh rupees on road at this price point uh, the bike only gets two competition by the way two competitors one is the kawasaki ninja 300 and the other one is the ktm rc390 the rc390 is yet to be launched so we are not going to talk a lot about that bike but both of the bikes the ninja 300 and the Kaw and the ktm uh, rc390 both are going to cost you uh, particularly about this bike it, both the bikes are going to be expensive uh, than this one so at this price point i think this uh, bike actually becomes a value for money proposition now like i told you earlier that this bike gets a dynamic kit as well you basically pay an extra uh, 12000 rupees obviously that's included in the 3.2 lakh rupees price point so in that particular kit you have adjustable suspension at the front as well as at the rear so you can basically tune the suspension setup as per your weight and as per uh, your riding uh, position and preferences so that is again a very good thing that the bike actually offers so at this price point i think it becomes a value for money proposition now talking about the other point that is the looks the design of the bike is really very nice i really like the design of the bike it is sharp it is sporty it looks aggressive as well and i particularly love this paint scheme the race replica graphics uh, the new one which they have provided looks really very nice and uh, when you uh, when you basically uh, come to an halt on a signal uh, each and everyone is going to stare at the bike each and everyone is going to notice the bike that's how attractive the bike is so in terms of the design in terms of the attractiveness definitely it is a really very attractive motorcycle so that is again a fourth i think i have covered for five points now you have uh, come to my channel so i will obviously give you an additional point right here so the braking is also really very good uh, obviously you have disc uh, two disc brakes at the front as well as at the rear and uh, those are assisted by dual channel abs as well and the braking performance is really very nice 
and the stopping power which the bike actually provides you is also really very nice so guys these were the six points uh, for which you can basically consider the tvs apache ara 310 i hope you guys like this video i'll see you guys in the next one uh, the next video you'll uh, able to see on the channel will be the review of the ara 310 and i'll also try to make the mileage video of the bike i hope you guys like this one if you have any question you can surely ask it to me on instagram as well as in the comment section down below and i'll be more than happy to answer most of your doubts i'll see you guys in the next one until then drive safe right safe bye bye